is your patient having a stroke or maybe they have a dry mouth? What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video, not something related to nursing, no rhyme or reason, probably not going to change. So this one time when I was a baby nurse, I thought my patient was having a stroke when they really just had cotton mouth. I was a baby nurse, a little nervous about being, being on my own, and really focused on my neurological assessment skills. Go in to assess the patient, and when you communicate with them, hey, good morning, Mr. Smith. How are you doing this morning? My name is Sean. I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm, I'm sorry. What was that, Mr. Smith? Oh, my God. I think... Wait a minute. I would... The the, ner the 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 sign out the bedside report I got was that he was a he was alert and oriented times three, and now he's slurring his speech. Oh my God! I think my patient's having a stroke. Now in the back of my mind, I'm I'm it's it's as if this light bulb went off. All of a sudden, my years of training are gonna kick in, and I'm gonna do my best NIH assessment that ever existed on this planet and I'm going to be able to tell if this patient is having a stroke. I'm going to have to kick the button. We're going to be calling the team. It's going to be a stroke alert. Surgeons and specialized team members going to bring all kinds of cool equipment. This is my time to shine. So Mr. Smith, what what date could you tell me where you are? Do you know exactly where you are? Okay, can you tell me? Can you tell me who the President of the United States is? Okay, definitely not doing well so far. Mr. Smith, could you go ahead and smile? Just give me a big smile. Okay. Not too bad. Mr. Smith, could you go ahead and stick your tongue out? They don't show that one in the video. Can't tell if that's normal or not. Let's try that again. Mr. Smith, go ahead and smile. Just one more go, just one more time. Go ahead and stick your tongue out. Night really strong, stick your tongue out. It's about as normal as it gets. Uh, okay. Alright, so now, Mr. Smith, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some range of motion. We're going to have you do a couple exercises, okay? Ah. Uh -huh. oh, odd. As you can imagine, the remainder of my NIH assessment was completely benign. He could lift all of his extremities. He could do the toe touching here and there, peripheral vision, leg going up on the bed, holding the leg, wiggling the toes. So my, my, you know, that, that alarm that went off in the back of my head is now going, okay, either my NIH assessment skills are perfectly on point and he might be having a stroke or I need to go back and reassess my skills because he's mostly normal other than this whole speech thing. But, you know, I remember that we were taught the whole smile thing and speech and motor and eyes and things like that and symmetrical and stick your tongue out. But he's got this weird slurred speech. Something's going on. I don't know what. 
Now, before I go ahead and push the button, trigger the, the code team and, you know, the stroke team and all that good stuff, I should probably be really sure this patient's having a stroke. I'm thinking maybe I should probably ask, I'm going to ask somebody else who knows what they're doing because, you know, being, being the new guy and all. Yeah, let's go ask somebody. So, of course, I ask a seasoned nurse to come in and assess my patient, and lo and behold, yeah, he, he's, he's not having a stroke. He's not having any altered mental status at all. He simply just has cotton mouth. He's got a bit of dry mouth because he's been on oxygen all night, and he was post-op. Yeah, so post-operatively, he was a little on the dehydrated side, and, you know air blowing in the nose all night, sleeping with his mouth open. <sighs> sleeping with his mouth open. O2, oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna have a bit of dry mouth. So, it was absolutely amazing to see the transformation in Mr. Smith's assessment the minute he got a swig of water. The next time that you think your patient's having a stroke, I would highly suggest you Check, check this area out. Make sure, make sure, make sure that you have checked their oral cavity. Are they just bone dry and their lips are sticking and their tongue is matted to the top of their mouth? Or are they really having a stroke? I don't know about you, but if you're going to call, now I'm not saying it's not a bad idea to call the stroke team, but... Yeah, you, your assessment skills are definitely going to be tested when someone has a dry mouth. <sighs> Thankfully, this was something I could look back on and chuckle about instead of having fellow colleagues, nurses, and maybe even some physicians, um, you know, make a little bit of fun of me. Now... Once again, there would have been nothing wrong with calling the code and the, the stroke team. Wouldn't have been anything wrong with that. But, yeah, um, when the only thing that's going on is the speech thing. Now, granted, speech, yep, stroke, slurred speech, tongue deviation, ir asymmetrical smile. I get it. I get it. But, you really should start with the simple things. Your patient may not be having a stroke. They just might need, they just might need a little swab around the mouth so that they can actually talk to you instead of sounding like they're having a stroke. This has been a public service announcement to all nurses out there. Check it. Okay? Curious what you have to say. Does any does anybody can anybody relate to this one? Am I alone? Am I the only one that has mistaken dry mouth for an actual stroke? Love to hear your comments down below. If you liked what you saw, I wanted to show me some love and hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, check your own pulse first.